So the first thing we want to do is get our oven on 350 preheat. Next, we have to cut this acorn here. It's pretty sturdy. What I like to do actually is use a towel just to be safer. Get in there like that and then use like so. Whoa, see? Gotta be careful. Scoop this innards out with a spoon like that. Oh yeah. You can totally separate these seeds and then toast them along with this, but this time we don't need them. And now we're gonna slice. We want discs just like that. There we go. Let's get these out of the way. I think we'll put those here. They're actually getting kind of big. Maybe we can do like a half. Like, yeah, this works. Make it easier on you. It will slide, so be careful. Get them out of the way. Alrighty. Set out a layer, one thin layer. And we don't need to use the whole acorn. Maybe about half if we need to, but obviously you can roast the whole thing and then use some for just a snack on or twice as much as salad, whatever you like. I'm actually gonna take these out because they're not in unison with these, so we want all of them to look the same. Here we go. All right. Olive oil, like so. Mm -hmm, nice and even. There we go. Salt. And now we're gonna go into the oven, preheated oven at 350. All right, and. Uh, we're gonna check on those in maybe like about 25 minutes or so. All right, so now as the squash is roasting, we are going to do our balsamic dressing. So we need balsamic, some mustards, pepper, salt, and olive oil. First thing we wanna do, about two tablespoons. Uh, I'm gonna say right there, uh, right there. About one tablespoon of mustard. Like this much, right there. Some pepper. A little bit of salt. This is a pinch, That's good. Mix this together. So this will be a little helpful here. Get this ready. Before, before we add our oil, we want this to be uh, incorporated pretty well. Looks about right. Okay, and then about two tablespoons of olive oil. Actually, here's a trick. Put a towel down. Should help, from, should help uh, the bowl from spinning slowly. Stop there. It's good right here. You can see definitely thickened up a little bit. Taste. Mmm. Yep, it's good. We'll set this aside. We'll uh, clean our kale. So here we have pre-washed kale. The stem here, they're really bitter. So I always kind of like to take them off before we start.
cooking with it or putting it in a salad. And the way we do that is a little trick here I grab from this end here, like so, and easy. So we do that for all these. Some of these are like so skinny that it won't give you a lot of leaves, but still good. Set these aside. And also don't throw these out, we can keep these. We can totally like put these in a stock, roast these, snack on them. So we kind of want to grab all of them in, in unison, kind of line them up like so. And then we just cut them into chunks like that. There we go. What's also helpful um, when you're making kale salads, I always like to massage my kale before I set it up on the plate. Kind of helps it brighten it up a little bit. Not so bitter, so to massage, you add a little bit of salt all over. And then really get in there, just kind of. And you'll see the difference right now. Don't be afraid to squeeze hard. Let's see how it kind of brightened up a little bit, released its natural nutrients. Very good. These should be done. Yeah. Cooked all the way through, crispy. Don't forget to turn the oven off. Right here, I got a towel on the counter so we're not burning it. All right, now we plate. Start off with the kale. Nice, even bed, like that. Uh, we can fit all of it on here. Make it mountainous, like that. Clean our counter. I always keep a clean station. All right. Set these up. that we got our pumpkin seeds these are already roasted so just all over like that mm -hmm. pretty straightforward salad make it no, that didn't take us very long maybe like 20 minutes or so you can totally make a large amount of this and kind of eat it throughout the week. Balsamic vinegar all over. This looks so good. We're good to go. And that is ready. Kale acorn squash salad with a balsamic vinaigrette. Very festive, perfect for any holiday dinner, impress your friends, your family, anyone.